Hello students, welcome to Legacy IS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a very important project in the area or field of artificial intelligence that is coming in news, which is referred as Project Strawberry. Now, this what is the Project Strawberry and how significant is the secret project that is or that has been launched by the OpenAI, AI, that company that is behind the chat GPT. That is what we are going to discuss in this particular video. So first of all, to give you the context of this particular issue, recently, as you know that the race for development of artificial intelligence is going across the world, more importantly in the US and many tech giants, tech companies are there, whether it is Apple, whether it is Meta, whether it is Tesla, all of these are pumping billions of billions of dollars in the field related to AI, especially in the research and development of new AI models. The AI models that will be a uh, next stage of the currently existing LLM model that is large language model. So in this context, the US based company, well known company by the name of OpenAI, it has come or become a major player in the field after launching its AI chatbot that is referred as ChatGPT, which all of you, all of uh, us are using continuously. Now with its capabilities including answering questions which is based on prompts as well as processing images. So that is the limit of the chat GPT, the current model. Now OpenAI is reportedly building a new advanced AI model that will be the next generation, next version of chat GPT which may dramatically improve the reasoning capability of the artificial intelligence and also will allow them to undertake autonomous internet research which currently is not possible in the chat GPT because chat GPT works on the basis of you give some command or you ask some questions and based on that question then chat GPT involves in the research and then gives you a prompt reply. However, in the, re in the next model which is the part of project strawberry itself the AI will be able to do the internet research something existing models cannot do. So that is what is going to become next generation of artificial intelligence. Now if we talk about the project strawberry itself. So it is nothing but a secret name or code given to existing project of OpenAI that is known by the name of project QSTAR. Now a plan, the main reach, the main we can say objective behind the project QSTAR was to make AI capable of training itself in a new way. So that it would have planning, logical reasoning and capabilities similar to that of a human brain. And the code name is Strawberry is believed to the new name for the same project that was referred earlier as Project QSTAR. Project QSTAR came into light somewhere about six months ago, but detailed information about this project was not made public. So OpenAI's intention is to use this project for deep research in variety of fields, whether it is the field of medicine, whether it is the field of, we can say, uh, business, whether it is the field of creative art. In every field, AI will be able to do deep research and will be able to give this, this corresponding output. But as of now, if we talk about the details of this project, it is still exact features and details are closely guarded, including its release date. So, Whatever we are talking about is largely based on the understanding of the experts that what this entire this project is about to be and also after discussion with the open AI's team. So in this context to talk about that what is the region or rationale or aim behind development of such projects. So first of all it is certain that with the strawberry models open AI wants AI models not only to respond when human give it query also they can plan ahead by themselves. They can scour or search the internet autonomously without any human interference, without any human command and also are able to do deep research. So these are three major objectives that we can outline here. Planning by themselves, researching over the internet by themselves and with this help in doing the deep research. And in this context Reuters, a well-known newspaper of UK, it has quoted an open AI spokesperson who has said that we want our AI models to see and understand the world more like we do. In other way, we can say we are largely trying to emulate this new model in Project Strawberry, similar to how human brain functions, how a human work, how human brain works, whether it is in the field of rationality, whether it is in the field of planning, whether it is in the field of creativity. Continuous research into new AI capabilities is a common practice in the industry with a shared belief 
that these systems will improve in reasoning over time. Currently, our AI models are not able to do reasoning by themselves. They are largely dependent upon the training that has been given to them under the language models and based on the human input they give the output. So reasoning is something that is out of the domain as of now and this is something where the improvement is required and work is being done. Now the question comes that how this new model developed under Project Strawberry will differ from the present or existing AI models. So as we have discussed before, the current AI models is based on LLM that is the large language models. Large language models is also basis of all the AI chatbots which we see on the websites of different different companies. Now in simple terms, LLM can be summarized as when it when it can summarize a dense text and compose prose instantly based on the query, based on the statements, based on the text that is written in the chat, uh, in the chatbot section and based on that they are replying it. However, they struggle with common sense problems and multi-step logic tasks. They cannot do a multi-step task, they cannot do logical tasks and also if some common sense problem happen, they cannot reason and, rash and have rationality of themselves that they can answer it. So as far as the strawberry models are concerned as being developed by the OpenAI, they will have first of all enhanced reasoning as compared to the existing models and thus landmark scientific discoveries and they can undertake complex problem solving. Many problems that we have in mathematics which human brain is not capable of solving or at least till now we have not been able to solve. So they are also after the development of such models we can expect to get a huge help from the AI models. As far as the reasoning is concerned basically reasoning can be classified or defined as when you are enabling the artificial intelligence to not only limit themselves to answer questions to humans, rather they can plan by themselves, understand the physical world around them and its functions and also can handle multi steps problem at the same time. So when you are talking about enhanced reaching, these are the capabilities that OpenAI is focusing on enhancing about. So if we talk about now that what are the possible uses if suppose in the coming time we are able to develop such models which are able to do perfect reasoning by themselves which are able to scour or search internet by themselves where can we possibly use them so first of all obviously advanced research in the field of science we can expect to get major breakthroughs because many calculations computations are there which today is not possible uh, by the computers that we have so there ai can lend a great help and it is and it may be able to conduct theoretical experiments analyze the data as well as suggest new hypothesis. That is the one area where we can use it that is in the field of science and technology. Second obviously is the medical research is a very vast field where AI can play a very important role. In this case AI again with the help of reasoning, with the help of scouring research data analysis, it can help in drug discovery, new drug discovery, research in genetics and even analyze the vast data sets to devise personalized machines based personalized medicines based on the demand of a patient based on the anatomy and the problems physiological problems that a patient might be facing. Now all these requires analysis of big data vast amount of data which today some supercomputer might not be able to do. There is a limit to that. Third we can say enhanced problem solving abilities obviously. So complex mathematical problems especially if we are talking about engineering calculation where you have to design large industrial establishment, large plants, whether it's petrochemical plants or any kind of industrial plants, whether you have to design large food, large building, large buildings are there where you have to design uh, the bridges along the uh, bridges across the rivers and all that. So in all of these engineering design and calculation, AI can lend a hand and even participate in theoretical research also. So these are the areas where we can potentially use the powerful artificial intelligence. Apart from that, three other areas we can highlight here, obviously in the field of education, as AI becomes more and become more and more powerful tool, once it becomes more, it develops a much deeper understanding about the physical world around it and also the demand of the people, it may be able to have a personalized tutoring, help people uh, or we can say students in personalized tutoring, creating educational content based on the curriculum and syllabus once you feed it inside it. And also it can design interactive relations where you can have a lot of images, diagrams, 3D animations and all that so that it will enhance the learning 
environment of a student and also will help him or her in grasping concepts, especially a difficult concept in the field of science and mathematics much more clearly, much more easily. So that is one area where a huge scope is there for the AI. Second, also when you're talking about the business or economic activities, analyzing, analyzing the market trends for any particular sector, the prediction of economic changes that might happen due to the change in the demography of a country, due to change in the business cycle of a nation, due to change in the overall what you can say, the de uh, development from the agriculture to manufacturing to services, when all these things are taken into account and all these data are analyzed, AI can help us give a much more, better prediction about how we can see our country or a particular geographical region in coming decades or few, next few decades. Second, it can also analyze and assess the risks associated with the particular business and market and help with investment decisions. That what is the best investment decisions. And last, we can also understand the AI's role in creative field where it can aid in writing, writing of, manus writing of we can say, uh, manuscripts, writing of books, writing of even movies and uh, TV series, creating art and music and also generating videos and designing video games. So here also it is going to play a very, very important role. So these are the five, six major areas where we can potentially see the use of powerful artificial intelligence in the coming future. However, we also have to keep in mind that with human-like reasoning skills, this model could affect change across the industries, across the entire world. And that is why improved AI capabilities would further enhance or put further where we can say increase the existing criticism of the AI in terms of its impact on jobs. Because even if we take a simple example where a person is suppose writing movies or writing TV series, now if AI is able to do much better work, then obviously he or she will be out of job. Similarly painting, similarly we have, we, we can talk about painting their video, uh, this uh, we can say video editing is there. Apart from that you also have uh, cinematography, songwriting, all these things if it is done by AI, that is just we are talking about only one sector. Similar rule it will have in, across the sector, so it can cause huge job losses and that is the major criticism which will enhance further in the future. Thus question on vast amount of power it will require to run, obviously we talk about the supercomputers that we have today, it requires enormous amount of energy. So when you are talking about the powerful artificial intelligence which is much more or multifold times stronger than this, powerful than this, then obviously it will consume a humongous amount of power. And the ethical questions largely that surrounds its reproduction in existing works by human is something that we also have to keep in mind while we are progressing and developing in the field of artificial intelligence. So that is all about this particular video. I hope you understood overall about the basics of Project Strawberry and what is the area around which this project is working. Thank you.